What's going on, everybody? It's a knitting. I want to do a little vlog, a little update, uh, kind of test out my new webcam. Is my Microsoft Life Cam kind of took a dump on me? Well, the camera didn't, but the microphone did. And what I was wanting to do was uh, kind of up my video editing game a little bit and start doing a little bit of a live cam, a little bit kind of like a uh, scene Anner does, gives a little bit more interactivity, kind of fit a bunch of stuff on the screen at once. And I really like that type of style, and I really wanted to. Uh, you know, see what I can do video editing wise and, and start to up the ante a little bit as far as that go, kind of the evolution of a YouTube channel kind of thing. Uh, so I went and picked up this Logitech C310 on a Mother's Day uh, sale, if you want to put it that way. Got a real good deal on it, got about 40 bucks off. So I couldn't pass up the deal and we'll see how it works. Uh, I got to play with the input on the microphone a little bit as it's got this weird popping sound if I turn it all the way up. So we're going to see if I turn it down a little bit. Um, where it goes from there. But yeah, this is pretty much a good little vlog update kind of camera check type thing. But what I want to do is get a video out uh, earlier this week on the UFC Fight League, kind of update who is the winner. And you know, life happens and it kind of didn't uh, turn out as I planned. So I was going to do it right here. Uh, it's Apricot 1 with 29 points. Doritos came in real close with 26 points. So congratulations to It's Apricot for winning that. So PM me your information when you get a chance. And uh, let me know what you want, Xbox 360 card, PS3 card, GameStop gift card, MMO time card of your choice. It's uh, your choice. You want it, uh, $20 value. So PM me your information, what you want. I'll go pick it up and get it uh, shipped out to you ASAP. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start a Fight League 2 up, but I'm going to skip a couple UFC events, get a couple things situated, and then bring that back around, and I'll let you guys know well ahead of time when that's going to start. And hopefully uh, this next go-around we get a lot more people involved and a lot more interactivity going on possibly with it. Even if people don't watch the UFC, they don't get in the MMA, just throw some names down there. 20 bucks for free, and we'll go from there. So congratulations once again to It's Apricot. I also want to update you guys a little bit on what I got going on my channel, what I got coming up uh, game-wise, and all that other good stuff. So obviously we know we're playing uh, Tales of Grace F. As through a playthrough over on Tour de Force. I'm not exactly sure how much time or how many episodes I got left. Probably quite a few, um, but I'm going to keep doing that until that's over. I got the Darksiders playthrough going up on my channel. I got the Ninja Gaiden playthrough going up on my channel. And Ninja Gaiden, I do believe, is about over with. We're going to see... Uh, exactly how much time I got left. I think I got a couple more boards maybe to do. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's close. Darksiders were about probably a little bit less than half, but uh, we're going to get through that because I just I love that game. We're kind of ramping up towards the Darksiders 2. Unfortunately, we all know it got delayed to August, but once these playthroughs are done, I'm going to cut way back on the playthroughs. Uh, Darksiders 2 is going to be my next playthrough, so that's not till August, and then probably I'm going to do one on probably Resident Evil 6 and kind of go from there uh, with those two games. I do have uh, Diablo 3 pre-order. We all know that comes out finally Tuesday. But I started to debate a little bit and talk to some people, and I don't, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to play it as much as I thought I was or get into it as much as I thought I possibly would. So I wanted a, a little bit of input from you guys. If you guys, maybe I got a majority of you guys waiting for D3 and you really want to see it. So uh, what I was thinking about doing instead of picking up D3 is kind of going off on a tangent and picking up the Game of Thrones or possibly Risen 2 and uh, doing uh, some videos on that as we go through that game, kind of like what I'm doing with The Witcher as well as Terra, and I'll get into Terra in a second, but um, let me know what you guys think about that. Maybe a good majority of you, like I said, is waiting for D3, and maybe maybe some of you guys are don't really care about it um, and rather see the Game of Thrones or Risen 2, and then maybe I'll possibly pick up Torchlight 2 instead of D3. When that drops, uh, it is a lot cheaper and it's pretty much the same premise and there's a lot of good reviews and hype behind that game as well. So let me know what you guys think on that end. I've been playing the heck out of Terra. And I'm going to tell you, if you guys are looking for a new MMO, this game is fun. It's a The combat alone is what makes, I think, and breaks this game. The combat is real interesting. I got a Berserker up to 35 and then there was a Everybody was looking for a healer. Oh, everybody needs a healer. And so I went ahead and rolled up a priest, and I've been having a blast with a priest, and I think he's level 28 right now. I got the first dungeon going through. I'm working on my way up to the second dungeon, and um, I'm going to bring you some guides probably over on the vid through page, probably some over here on dungeon guides, a little bit of a look from the priest standpoint, a little bit of a look from a melee DPS standpoint, even though Berserkers are having some real issues now because the game is really based off mobility and being able to react quick. And the Berserker is 
built off of slow moving, hard hitting, charged up abilities. And some of these boss fights almost take you completely out of the fight. You spend more time running around with the Berserker than you actually do on the mob. So uh, it's one of those things. I'm having fun with it, but we're starting to see some issues as I get a little bit higher and a little bit higher uh, with the Berserker. And the Priest kind of keeps me involved at all times. So, you know, I also rolled up a Mage. I also rolled up a Lancer and kind of saved some names. So we got a bunch of stuff going on in Terra, and I'm just having an absolute blast with this game and I'm glad I picked it up so you're going to see a lot more of that coming through guaranteed whether it's a guide over here or just uh, live streaming and going through just random quests and doing live comms while I level up and all this other stuff so bear with me on that that's coming I got a ton of footage I got to go through and we're going to start kicking that back up this upcoming week so that's what I got for you guys this week again congratulations to It's Apricot let me know what you guys think about uh, D3 um, the Game of Thrones or Risen 2 or if there's something else eye popping out there that maybe I missed. A lot of these games I haven't been paying attention to and I've missed a lot of uh, games like I just happened to look on Steam and Game of Thrones and Risen 2 caught my eye right away and that's something. The Witcher 2 is an amazing game. I can't believe I missed that PC release but you're gonna have that when you get involved in the shooters and kinda of pigeonhole yourself like I said. So. Again, that's what I got for you guys this week. Keep your heads up. Have a great weekend. It's beautiful out here. We're putting a fence up in the backyard. My son's got his first t-ball game. Lots of stuff going on. Possibly life-changing interview coming up here in a couple weeks. Um, I got my fingers crossed for that. And as life-changing as in, I mean, I'm going to be making double what I am and all worries as far as paying bills and just having money to do really whatever I want will be gone. And that's going to be a good, good thing. That's a good thing for everybody. So... Have a great weekend, guys. Keep your heads up. Peace. What's going on, everybody? I just want to let you guys know you can hit up my Tales of Graces F playthrough over on Tour de Force or check it out on my playlist over on my channel. I update it as soon as the videos go up. If you missed my last Witcher video, we do a little bit of the prologue on the dawn, a little bit of uh, checking out a couple things and getting into the game. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Go over and check me out on Justin TV, Twitter, and Facebook. Go over and say hello to all the guys over on Viso Gamer and the VidTruth pages. I hope to see you guys there soon. And as always, keep your heads up. Have a great day. Peace.